Hello, and welcome to lecture eleven. In the last lecture, we started learning the concepts on how to build an image viewer. Specifically, we learned what a variable is, and the difference between a local and a global variable. In this lecture, we're actually going to build the image viewer. To build an image viewer, we first need to understand what a canvas widget is. A canvas widget, like what an artist would use, like a canvas, is what we use to put pictures on it. So to start off, we're going to start with this code. By now, we should have no problem understand this since we've done it so many times. So far, all I've done is create a window、um, with a label that says、uh, name of the picture. I create an entry box and I create a canvas widget. This canvas widget is what we want to concentrate on today. Over here, I adjust the width and the height, and make the background of the canvas white, so we can differentiate between the canvas and the window. Let me quickly run this program so you know what this code does. If you look at this white area, this is the canvas widget, what we use to draw on. With the canvas widget, besides drawing, you can display pictures, create video games, and even create new widgets with this. The canvas widget is the most powerful widget in the entire TK Inter library. So today, we're going to put pictures in them. To create a picture, it's a two-step process. We first create an object called a photo image object. Then we put the image right inside the canvas. Pretty easy, huh? There are two rules that we must follow. First, the picture must be in a GIF format. Although Python does take other image formats, but we have to do other stuff, which is kind of complicated. So let's avoid it for now. Second, you want to put the picture in the same folder as your program. Of course, we can get around that too, but just for now, put it in the same folder. So let's go back to the code and put this picture inside the canvas. Remember, we first have to create the photo image object. So to create the photo image object, we type this code: photo image. We want the file via .gif, and we'll call this object pic. Notice that via .gif is exactly the same as the one of the pictures in there. As a matter of fact, the same picture will show up later. Next, we want to tell the canvas widget to create an image using via.gif. So, we will type this can create the image at the location、uh, 250 and 200 with the image pic. Pic was the photo image object we just created previously, and we'll call this tem. I want you to remember that can here is the same canvas widget we created. So, put it in simple terms, we are creating an image, photo image, and putting it inside the canvas. So now, if we run the program, the picture will show up. Let's run it. All right, the picture showed up. That means things are working. I want you to notice that the first two number inside the creating image function. The first two number controls where inside the canvas the widget will show up. If you put zero zero for those two locations, the center of your picture will be at the top left of the screen. So let me change the number to zero zero and run the program, and you'll see what I mean. See, notice how the center of the picture is now placed at the top left side of the screen. These two numbers basically controls the location where you display the picture. Just play with it, and you'll know exactly how it works very quickly. So, besides this picture, we have many other pictures inside the collection. So, if I put a different name in, in the file location, we'll get a different picture. Let me try to put the picture of me and Rebecca,、uh, called Rebecca dot Jeff. So、uh, let me also change the location back to 250 and 200. So if I run the program, we'll get a new picture. So basically, 
whatever name we put it next to the file will display that picture. Now instead of displaying it directly, the next level is we want to type it inside the entry box and when we press the button it shows the picture that we want. Currently when we press the button get it does nothing. I wrote pass here means it does nothing. Pass is a special term in Python that does nothing. 